All right, chapter 7D, Education Control. Another New World Order agenda item you need to know about and look into further is our country's abysmal educational system. We already went over how the National Education Association is affiliated with the Tavistock Institute and was originally funded by the Rockefeller Foundation. But the corruption of our children's education and our country's future goes way past that. John Dewey of Columbia University, considered the father of the American education system, was a New World Order proponent. He believed that children do not go to school to develop individual talents, but rather are to be, be prepared as units in an organic society. He was an avowed atheist and socialist, and the first president of the American Humanist Society, a New Age-oriented group. Dewey also co-authored 1933's Humanist Manifesto, which called for a, quote, synthesizing of all religions, unquote, and a, quote, socialized and cooperative economic order, unquote. John Dewey is also credited with creating the Dewey Decimal System, by which libraries are organized today. In other words, he was a very influential individual on our school system. Under the influence of the NEA, the test scores of our children have consistently been sliding for years compared to the rest of the developed nations and now sit at around number 18 or so out of 36 industrialized nations. This is also in no small part thanks to George W. Bush signing off on the No Child Left Behind Act in 2002 right on the heels of 9-11. No Child Left Behind is a federal law that provides money for a small amount of extra educational assistance for poor children in return for perceived improvements in their academic progress. Under the U.S. Constitution, the states have the primary responsibility for public education. However, if states want to receive federal No Child Left Behind funds, they must agree to this recent law's requirements. In a time of diminishing and often depleted state coffers, not to mention increasing disregard for our Constitution, states have little alternative but to comply. The result is continued buildup of big centralized government and a subpar education for the future citizens of America. In a nutshell, what No Child Left Behind does is require the states to set their own standards for scholastic achievement and then must meet those goals to get the federal money. So, what do you think the vast majority of the schools do now? They set the bar low so they can ensure that they meet or surpass these goals and stay on the federal government tit. This is a disaster of a policy, and it's just one more way the Illuminati are forcing the United States to dig its own grave. Political correctness and tolerance towards all religions, races, creeds, sexual orientations, etc. is the modern day mantra of the educational system in the United States an emphasis on these line items is placed above the reason the kids should be there to start with. Learning, reading, writing, and arithmetic, and excelling at these three so that the U.S. might have a bright future. I'm certainly not saying it is bad to respect other humans that are different than you or I, but it is up to the family and community to teach these things and not a taxpayer-funded government entity. Okay, that's the end of that little chapter, and uh, even though this book was written just a year ago, um, there's other things like Common Core, um, just all kinds of things to do with education that's been going on, and uh, it seems like there's not a lot said about it. I mean, it's just completely ridiculous, but uh, people that are in the school systems, um, they know something's up. But anyway, um, that's it for this one, and uh, I'll talk to you uh, soon.